listen. year back so I graduated last year and just seeing everyone and catching up has been the best part. Basically, there's um, 15 middle school teams here, and they're playing in a tournament. And um, they're playing for my sister. So in July, she was in an accident. She was on a hammock in Boston, and um, there was too much weight on it. It was hooked up to a chimney, and then that fell on top of her. So it was really heavy, and ended up she had a C6 spinal cord injury. So that means you're most likely going to be paralyzed from like the belly button down. So basically she was in the ICU for a few weeks and moved to rehab and now she's just been working in rehab and um, working on getting some strength in her arms back and learning how to do every like normal day, normal stuff that you do every day that she now has to learn a new way of doing. So that's kind of what she's been doing and now we're here raising money to help her get what she needs. past we've done some things with the middle school community they're always looking for play days and uh, uh, I think it was three years ago we held a in conjunction with one of our games uh, a cancer game fundraiser and we hadn't held a middle school play day in the last couple of years and had a lot of the schools asking you know if we were gonna hold something again and thought that this would get, be a good opportunity to bring it back and have the event come back and uh, be able to help Riley and Riley's family and uh, obviously Erin, um, you know, with her recovery. event like this definitely brings a group of people together. We're a very close team so we really want to like hold each other up and push each other through hard situations so it's definitely made us a uh, closer group. This accident has brought us together as a team. We've really come together to support Riley and I think it's made us realize how if anything like this happened to any of us we'd all be there for each other to lift each other up. Um, we do a lot of events like this, but where it's something personal, I think the message is a lot more widespread and there's a lot of girls that are familiar with the other clinics, so I think it's nice that the, the team can interact with those girls, share the story, spread the word, spread it for a good cause, you know, bring a positive emotion to this event for Riley and her family and just continue the support that the team has had for her the whole time. You know, really wanted to obviously support this event also and they're helping out for the day they're umpiring the games and helping organize you know the fields and uh, you know they're just having a good time together today um, I think it's been great it seems like they're all having a really fun time I just finished refing my three games and it was really great um, I got to see the girls play and it was really fun I'm a freshman so this is my first time really seeing any teams from Maine and like we don't have middle schools from where I'm from so it's kind of fun to see younger girls play. Um, I think when I'm looking around at the kids I think back when I was that age and I just remember seeing the girls in their uniforms just thinking how awesome that is so I can only imagine how cool this must feel to be playing on the field that we play on let alone seeing us in our uniforms so I think it's a great feeling.
Well, I think anytime we can do events like this and come together as a team, you know, it's still field hockey related, but obviously not field hockey related in terms of our plays in time they can be involved in the community and do something good. They're also uh, personally trying to raise money for the cause as well through their, you know, friends and families groups as well. So um, I think it's always beneficial for our players to, you know, to give back. So yeah, um, just like to really thank you guys because it's a really, it's a really big deal that you guys are here. And I know it seems like you're just here to play field hockey, but it's it's something much bigger than that. So just give yourselves a round of applause for being. When it's time to tackle the tough winter jobs, break through with a Fisher XV2 V-Plow. Towering flared wings deliver snow rolling action like you've never seen. Hidden obstacles are a given, but the Fisher Trip Edge system ensures the plowed snow stays where it belongs, in front of the blade. Reliable double acting cylinders lock the wings together at the touch of a button for straight blade operation or clean back dragging. Learn more about the XV2 V-Plow at fisherplows.com or by visiting Bangor Truck Equipment. You support your black bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. The Black Bear Debit Card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a red wallet account at Maine Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Maine Savings. Learn more at mainesavings.com. studying at University of Maine yeah. and this is my first homecoming as well so having a great time and uh, I think I think we're losing but I don't care we're having a great time who knew me I grew up in Old Town Maine so I've been coming to uh, University of Maine games since I was about that tall and when I was a kid we walked through the woods and I remember when we sat underneath the visitors bleachers and all the freshmen had beanies and they would throw them in the air when Maine scored a touchdown and our job was to collect as many beanies as we could. So that's where I started with the University of Maine. What brings me out today is look around at the camera. Friends, a friendly environment. You know, today we're not we're not we're not fraternity against fraternity. We're not anything. We're we're all friends. Here. Big family, yeah. yeah we're all human yeah. black bears. Yeah. Well, to you, I graduated two years ago and there's nothing more in my life that I'd rather do than say I'm a human alone. <laughs> my first 
first year back. So I graduated last year and just seeing everyone catching up has been the best part. like speeding past the line and a free beverage when you join. And the best part is, after you, that upgrade feeling stays with you all day. Experience the upgrade effect. Download the Dunkin' app and enroll today. EBS Building Supplies is your partner in home improvement with a location near you. We're your locally owned neighborhood hardware store. At EBS, we've got a selection that can't be beat and everything you need to make your next home improvement project simple. We'll even deliver what you need for free. Best of all, we'll take care of you with know-how and a smile every time, which gives you more time to enjoy your handiwork. EBS Building Supplies can do, just ask. Hi, I'm Claire Fogler. And I'm Avery Fogler. And we are from Stonyville Dairy Farm in Exeter. Do you have a picky eater at home? Can't get them to eat their vegetables? Why not try a smoothie? Just combine one frozen banana, one cup blueberries, one cup frozen spinach, one tablespoon honey, two thirds cup of milk, and one third cup of plain Greek yogurt. Blend and enjoy. Ready, set, feel up. Duncan has lots of fall favorites to root for. Maple pecan, pumpkin, maple sugar bacon, 
But on game day, we root for one team. One team, baby. Win the fall, folks. Our final inductee tonight is not an individual, but a team. The first team to be inducted into this Hall of Fame and to introduce them, someone uh, eminently more qualified to do so than me. He was a part of that team, and he is, of course, the head coach of the University of Maine Black Bear hockey team, Red Gendron. Just having been a small part of that team, uh, its impact was felt not only throughout our university, winning a national championship, a small northeastern, northern, northern New England school here, uh, but it brought a sense of pride to the entire state of Maine. We, I mean, we had a good idea that we had a, a good team, and we've had teams like that. I know the team we had the year before, and I, I know the the team that I watched the year before when I sat out had a lot of expectations and. Um, you know, for whatever reason, it didn't didn't pan out during the during the tournament and that type of thing. But um, you know, like I said, we knew we were good, and just uh, you know, keep yourself even keel and not too high, not too low, all the cliches. But uh, just to try to try to keep the keep the ball rolling. And you know, we had that one hiccup against BU, which I think was a pretty good wake up call for us that uh, we couldn't just show up and win games and we you know we had to do what you know what what the coach and staff prepared us to do and you know to, to keep it on the on the train tracks that way uh, obviously we were a very close-knit uh, group of uh, players but the relationship we have with the community uh, gives me goosebumps now just uh, unique um, so we uh, we enjoyed playing in front of our crowd we enjoyed being adopted into the community uh, and for us uh, to be able to, to win it and bring the whole state of Maine uh, championship was rewarding. So uh, still, like I said, great memories and happy to be here and see all the guys and, and more importantly see, uh, you know, they're not fans, they're, they're our family. So that, that's what was so uh, unique about the situation playing here, uh, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, was that uh, relationship with uh, everyone that uh, followed me in hockey. It seemed like the whole state did. So. First practice of the year, once you saw Ferraro's Korea, uh, Purdy, and all the other freshmen on the ice, it, it, was, it was a level of skill and playmaking that we had never seen. So it was like, okay, we lost jean -Yves, we lost Pelly, we lost Roby, but I think we, we may have upgraded. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable, but again, the recruiting, it, Sean Grant and Red did was incredible at the time. Um, well, in terms of us being the, the best team of all time, I mean, that's up for, for debate. I, I think certainly our, our team would be um, in the conversation. Um, I, I don't, uh, I'm not a historian of, of college hockey like in the 70s and, and 80s, but um, you know, to, to go through an entire year and only lose one game uh, and obviously and win a championship, uh, that's got to put us up there. 
um, in terms of uh, things behind the scenes, I mean, the, the coaching uh, that we receive from, from Coach Walsh and Stanbrook in general throughout the year, uh, I think all of us uh, have used in our careers, both on and off the ice going forward. And, and um, that was one of the main reasons that I came here to receive that, uh, that type of instruction. Our 1993 NCAA National Champion. Yeah, we've got a lot of new guys, so it's exciting for us. We've got eight newcomers on our team, so almost half our team is new, and pulling it all together as quickly as possible is gonna be really important, but we've got talent, we've got experience, uh, so we're looking forward to a great year. I think Coach Walsh has proved his staff that they can recruit. We've seen some good talent here on his team. Since I came out the womb, basically, yeah, I've been playing ever since I can remember. And, you know, family, big basketball family, everybody plays, just following along. Um, I started playing a long time ago, probably I was, you know, third or fourth grade around that time. I was a three-sport athlete pretty much my whole life until I got to college, so basketball wasn't always the main focus, but once I got older, it started becoming more and more of the main sport that I played. As a team, we all mesh together well. We all, everybody can hang out with everybody. It's not like any place within the team. So I think that's really good. It's gonna definitely help in the court. You see an awful lot. It's uh, kind of tough to uh, pick out players, especially with his new group. I think we're going to be really good. I mean, everybody's healthy right now. I heard that's been a problem in the past. You know, a lot of people have been getting injured, but we've done a very good job this year of like trying to keep everybody healthy, recovery stuff. All right, so that is a funny story. Freshman year, one of my teammates, we did our freshman year at UNC Asheville, and then we both decided to transfer from there and go to junior colleges. And he ended up committing here and basically, like during my recruiting process, he kept he kept calling me, saying, "Bro, we should team up again," because they started recruiting me. And you know, I came up here, like had to, had to get a feel for everything. But you know, ended up teaming back up. We used to change jerseys at the half, and we used to call it blue white games. But that all shakes down when we get started. Well, the Skip Chappelle scrimmage is the first time that we'll play in a game situation in public, in front of our fans. It's great because, you know, Skip Chappelle, he played here. He's actually, he went to Old Town High School. Well, I think it was Coach Walsh's idea. Got a hold of me one day and asked me if they could name the scrimmage. I said, sure, whatever we can do for basketball, let's, let's get it done. first chance to see what our guys have when the lights are on, so to speak, with officials where we're not stopping it and correcting it and coaching it in a game situation. And but it's, uh, it's a great way to get the community involved, get them to come see us play before the season actually starts. Well, I'm excited. Uh, just. I'm not too familiar with them, but I mean, just got up here. But definitely, they, they definitely, uh, they talked about my visit a little bit, and he's one of the few to go to the NBA from here. And that's always an honor just to play in front of uh, somebody that's a very big part of the program and get to meet them. So I'm excited. We really need to evaluate. Uh, our team because we've got so many new guys and it also gives us a chance to honor Coach Chappelle. 
uh, one of the all-time greats here at the University of Maine, still a great supporter uh, of the university and of our program and something that we hope will be become a tradition on homecoming for years uh, down the road. Our, the support of our fans is tremendous. You know, I really think Black Bear Nation is going to enjoy watching this team. The competitive spirit, the toughness, the maturity. Uh, we've got a lot to prove as a basketball program, but we're really excited about this group. So hopefully everybody will come out and support the team.